Hi, welcome to another episode of Tabletop Noob, and today we're going to be painting the Goliath, the final miniature from the Shadows of Brimstone. So let's just get this guy done. I'm going to be painting his body with the serpent skin. So let's go ahead and get that started. I actually thinned it down quite a bit, probably more than what I should have, but that's okay. I guess that means I won't be obscuring any detail. It just means I'll just probably have to go over it, you know, a couple of times after it dries, and it'd probably take forever for it to dry. I don't know. It's actually kind of warm in here today. Who's that? A dog hair. Using a bigger brush than what I would probably use just because this uh, would otherwise take quite a while. And yeah, I'm just kind of just throwing it on here because, uh, It's almost like a, a wash. If it pulls up, just kind of move it around a little bit. The goal is coverage. So, with this basically going to be the last video of uh, this particular series, I guess I'm going to be moving on to other miniatures to paint. And that other miniatures is going to be another board game. Uh, it's going to be the Dungeons and Dragons Castle of Ravenloft uh, miniatures. You know, the funny thing is, is that, at least looking on YouTube, that there are people who have at least started them, and doesn't seem to be too many people who has um, ended it, has, has finished them, and then there's some who are have uh, just has a video of like hey here's the miniatures and I painted them and this is what they look like I mean I'm not saying that's a bad thing I mean not everybody is into watching somebody paint miniatures I mean, I, I'm into it sometimes. I'll watch somebody paint, and sometimes I'm kind of like, eh, I don't feel like it. And if you hear that snoring, that's my dog snoring. He's, uh, apparently he's, uh, very, very tired. You know what, <clears throat> if I can get this on here fairly evenly, I just might just do one coat and just kind of leave that like it is. It's actually kind of looking kind of neat. It's almost kind of leathery. Serpent looking. Kind of a dig in the way it's looking. I mean, that's kind of like the way these guys are anyways. They're kind of like serpent is looking serpent looking anyways. I mean, I'm kind of digging the way that's looking. If I can get this, I can get pretty good coverage just with just the one shot. I might just leave it just with the one, more or less the one coat.
I mean, even though it's a little splotchy, I mean... I'm actually kind of digging the way it actually looks. Get his butt. But anyway, yeah. Um, so I guess next up is going to be um, Castle Ravenloft and uh, I think I want to instead of doing just nothing but Castle Ravenloft uh, I'm going to try to break it up with other miniatures instead of doing just all nothing but Castle Ravenloft like I did with this set where it was just nothing but Shadows of Brimstone I think I'm going to throw in other things here and there other miniature paintings here and there um, just so it's just not yeah here's another Castle Ravenloft here's another Castle Ravenloft here's another Castle Ravenloft just to break it up a little bit and I'm not saying that's uh, necessarily a bad thing I mean sure I mean I get it done but also I gotta think about people who are viewing the videos they might go eh, I'm kinda getting a little tired of watching that of seeing oh, it's yet another Castle Ravenloft video are you painting anything else in this particular case it's like Looks like I'm hitting the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I am not painting on the ocean. Where it was shadows of brimstone. Where if you've seen just where it's like shadows of brimstone, shadows of brimstone, shadows of brimstone. Where it was like, are you painting anything else? It's kind of like, actually, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Painting around a camera. It's actually kind of difficult. I figured I'd try a different camera angle. And the way my table and stuff is set up, because I got a different setup, because I kind of had to for the time being. It's actually not fun. But we'll get through it. I've been in a worse situation. I used to be a automotive service technician, and uh, yeah, I had to contort my hands and body and everything else in the, some odd positions to get to parts. Because it's kind of like car manufacturers, I guess. They go, yeah, we're going to have this. And then they kind of go, and they don't have to put much thought into how that part is going to be serviced. Or they don't care. <laughs> because after it leaves the factory, it's kind of like, eh. Is that the assembly line? It's kind of like, I mean, the car is built around the the car is built around the part. And it's always like some weird part too, and you know, I mean, it's not always like some something that you would like. That's it for his body. I mean, it's, it's always something that you wouldn't think of, like a battery. I mean, I mean, it's a battery. Car needs a battery. It's almost like these cars are built, and 
it's like you look at the design and then somebody comes along and goes okay that's great and where's the battery and then they go oh shit I mean the battery's been in some dumb places well, other than his head Actually looking pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and do his head. I mean, he's been in the trunk, in the back seat, well, under the back seat, under the front seat. Let's see, where else have they been? They've been... Oh, in the, uh, in the cowl, where the uh, windshield wipers are. The little area between the, under the, in between the hood and your windshield. Yeah, they've been in there. Of course, they've been under the hood, and they've been in some weird places under the hood, too. Where it's kind of like you open the hood and you kind of go, okay, so where's the battery? And you kind of look, and you look, and it turns out that it's in a special little box. You have to take the box apart to get to it. Hey, I'm talking to you, Volkswagen. Or the, um, let's see, they've, uh, you know the windshield washer reservoir? It's where your windshield washer fluid comes from. Yeah, they've been under those where you had to take the windshield washer reservoir completely out to get to the battery. Another fun place we've been in is inside the wheel well. Yeah. Let's see. I think that'll do it. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with that. I mean, I know it looks a little splotchy. I missed his ear. How the hell would I do that? Here we go. I know it looks a little splotchy. But I actually kind of like that look. Just because it look, does look a little leathery. It actually does look like actual, like, kind of like serpent type skin. And that's kind of cool. Oh, I missed a spot right there, too. Why oh, did I miss that? Because I'm sitting here talking, talking about car batteries, and you could probably care less. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit more color through there. There we go. Underneath. Yes, I'm checking out your butt. Uh, look at my butt. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my brush. Okay, for the next color, I'm going to be using uh, the dark stone, yeah, dark stone purple. And this is going to be his tongue. I guess that's what that is. Did you call that his tongue? I'd call it his tongue. Well, whether if it's his tongue or not, that's what we're going to call it. 
Yeah. And we're just gonna So I'm using a big flat brush. I'm only going to go up to his teeth and use a different brush to go around his teeth. I probably should have used a different brush to begin with. Oh well. Hindsight no. Let's see, what else should I talk about? Oh, I know. Um, would you guys like to see maybe a quick playthrough of some of these games or something? Just Maybe just a one-shot type of thing? Just to see how some of these games are played? Just to, If you haven't bought the game, if you're thinking about buying the game, just to see how the just to see if you want to buy it or not. Because I can certainly do that. Or if you're curious about a certain rule of the game and you want to see at least how my interpretation of a certain rule is. I mean, you know, I mean channel definitely isn't going to be a, a let's play type of thing with some with these games I still have do painting and things but I mean maybe I might throw in a hey let's play this let's play Castle Ravenloft let's play Shadows of Brimstone let's play this let's play that I mean I don't have a whole lot of board games I'm just getting started into a lot of these Of course, I'm, I still want to do unboxings as I get them. And how does that look? Does that look good? Let's get into the light. I know the light situation is kind of odd right now. Oops! Hit the camera. There we go. I kind of like that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I like that. All right. Okay. Um, please uh, forgive the sound of the fan. I'm not sure how well it's picking up on the on the mic. Um, it's actually kind of hot in here for some reason. Kind of weird. Anyway, um, next color I'm going to be using is. Uh, Your fang bone. This is going to be going on to the teeth.
Uh, kind of shaking, kind of bad. Oops, as I drop it and break it. Okay, and it's going to be going underneath here where the suction cups are. Something I find interesting with my channel is that I post a video and almost immediately, well fairly immediately, somebody just likes it. I mean honestly I really don't care. I mean just doing this, just have something to really do. I mean, honestly, you like it, you don't like it. But if you click the button of like or don't want or dislike, or even if you don't do anything, you're still gonna make a video. And I just find it kind of interesting. Somebody takes the time to. I don't know if it's the same person or not. To go through and. Of course, it's the internet. People will dislike what they dislike. As far as YouTube is concerned, I don't know if um, if it's good or bad with having dislikes or or if it's just views that are important or whatever. I mean, even if I didn't have any views or any subscribers, it really wouldn't matter. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am thankful for every one of my subscribers. I appreciate it. I, When I started this channel, I wasn't expecting to have any views or any subscribers. And in fact, um, the last I checked, um, I have 96 subscribers. And 
and that's really cool. I mean, I wasn't expecting any. So, oh, bless you, puppy doggy. So, I'm, I'm really stoked. I'm, I'm really close to 100 subscribers. You know, a lot of people are like going, I'm hitting a million subscribers. I'm hitting... You okay with that puppy doggy? Got the sneezes? <laughs> Well, I was excited when I got my first subscriber. If you notice, yeah, I thinned it down a little bit, so it's flowing, so it's flowing a little bit better, so it's a little bit thinner. So I'm also apply this a little bit, a little bit more on this green that I got here. It was a little thick on the other tentacle Okay, next I'm going to be using Cinder Yellow. And this, I'm going to be getting his eyes. He's got a whole bunch of these old eyes. So he's got one here. Got one here. It's got one there. It's a little bit more paint on there. It's got one there. It's got one there. He's got a great big eye in the center. I, mean, I think I'm missing an eye. Yeah, yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. His eyes can be a little bit better. I don't know. One great big eye right there. Not really coming out very well, is it? A little too much paint on there.
let's try that again. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm having difficulties here. And cover the whole thing in dark tone ink. Similar to what I did to these. And if you remember correctly in the uh, video I did on that. And for that I'm going to go back to my somewhat bigger brush. I have a bigger brush I can use, but I'll just use this one. Maybe I should use like an actual bigger, an actual brush brush. I'm just gonna use like basically this artist brush. I use this brush for like dry brushing and stuff. <laughs> it just sucked up all the ink I put down. Yeah, and I'm doing terrain and stuff. This is the brush I use for dry brushing and the like. Uh, maybe a little too much. I have to grab another brush and spread it around. Okay, did I get everything? Looks like it. Let me grab this brush here and try to see if I can wick some of it away. It's not working out so well. Let's see if I can wick some of this away. What I'm doing now is just trying to wick some of the excess away and move move it around a little bit. Alright, I think that'll pretty much do it. I mean, uh, there's really not anything else much to do other than uh, paint the base and then uh, put sand on the base like I did with all the other uh, miniatures I've done. and. Uh, it's just a real simple process. Uh, I have a video of that uh, on how I do that. Um, I'll have the link to that in the description below. So, uh, so thanks for watching. And uh, so, if you want to see a finished, actual finished picture of it, and uh, make sure you check out uh, my Instagram page which I have a link to that in the description 
and also check out my Facebook page, which uh, that'll be in the description. And uh, you probably should uh, go ahead and like my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, share, and, and all that other fun stuff. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching.